Welcome back to Zero Dawn. It's time to run the proving and also to uh, launch the sickest burn at Thresh over here. Is that his name? Thresh? Thresh, my bad. You ready? You ready? What did you say? Find your bed, outcast, and dream of winning the proving. That's the closest you're gonna get. Come on. Oh, this is the bed house? With you standing guard? I figured it was the latrine. You're, you're very present here. Okay, sorry, I really love that part. <laughs> Screw you, Rash. I hope a corruptor flings a boulder at your face. Well, well. Look who's come in from the wild. The motherless outcast. <laughs> I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. Oh yeah, she totally does, even in Forbidden you West. You be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. Yeah, I'll let him be a jerk because, full spoilers again for the entire Don't series, out, he gets yes. shot in the face in like you need eight hours. It's fine. In the presence of a true Nora. Oh, shut up. Aw, oh, you even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's going to be with you, is it? This is how it's going to be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, not Mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the proving. Bost would totally play hockey in real life, you know? Ooh, I never pick the fist option, but you know what? Too Let's bad do for it. you that I'm going to win it then. <laughs> I've trained all my life for this. If I lost to you, I'd make myself an outcast for life. <laughs> that sucks. Don't then. overestimate yourself. You wouldn't last long in the wilds. You know, I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. You should cherish it. If Rost hadn't shot my stone from the air, you'd be missing an eye. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. Holy shit. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. This is boring. Time for Boss to get some sleep. You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, outcast. Not me. Oh, are you going to shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. <laughs> Uh, some iconic lines right there, but man, I forgot how awful Bost is. Holy shit, I branded you to mark your shame. Oh my, you know what? Good thing he gets shot in the face. No, I don't wish that upon anyone, but if it, if it were to happen to someone, some fictional character in this game. Nice job handling Bost. That should keep him quiet. Till morning, anyway. I don't believe we've met. I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. The competition. The others, they'll finish the proving. Most of them. But win it? That's down to Bost, you, or me. Vala. Nice to meet you, Vala. You're right. I am going to win tomorrow. Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some sleep. I plan to be well rested when I run you into the ground tomorrow. <laughs> Your bunk's right there when you want it. Okay. Thanks. Oh, Vala. She later on says that she thinks her and Aloy, or Aloy and Vala could have become friends, and I, I do think so. At least we get to experience that a little bit with Varl, but, well, you know. You know my feelings on that matter. So, your first day in Mother's heart. What do you think? Also, I, I forgot just how much they use uh, flashpoints. Never slept in a Lodge before. Not very private. At the start of this game, and and throughout Zero Dawn, there just there really aren't that many in Forbidden West. Comforts and distractions. That's what I think. Not all comforts are bad. Comforts are weakness. You sound just like my mother. You can always go back to living in the wilds if you have to. In the meantime, get some rest. I do miss that track to The World and All Its Lessons, I think it's called. Just that soft piano. It plays in the wild sometimes and it's really pretty. All right, let's do it. Now, remember kids, we don't have a shield wing. Don't jump off of a cliff. Can't call your sun wing in to pick you up. Oh, 
OST is so good. Oh my gosh. it had to be Resh. Braves! Ready yourselves! What will it take to get you out of here? Maybe a Horus. <laughs> it's a grazer. Okay. Oh yeah, we haven't done uh, grazers yet. Shall we uh, explode? Totally could have just shot her in the face Your right there. Is shattered, outcast. Looks like you'll need another. Where's Resh? Can I ignite this? Oh shoot, you totally can. For a jog. I've got to catch up. Just preemptively load up because up. Uh, <laughs> some fun is about to go down. Slow and steady now. All you need is to finish. That makes all but one. Is the outcast coming? She was behind me. Dead last, girl. Might as well walk from here. Not quite. Walk away, Nervala. But you'll be made a brave so long as you finish. Oh, now. That's an old trail. Two died on it last year. It's falling apart. Better dead last than dead altogether. Whoa, 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 whoa. My old mother, are you crazy? You're gonna kill yourself! Man, it is fun that at this point... It doesn't get any easier! You're insane to go that way! The stakes for Aloy is just, you know, winning, proving, learning the truth. Like, it's... in comparison to what it becomes, it's... so nice. Also, do you guys all remember your uh, your first impressions when you saw the horse for the first time? I just remember being absolutely awestruck and just thinking what could have created this giant behemoth. And I mean, now we're at the point where we fought one. It's just, it's incredible to come back here. And I thought it was so cool that we were running on its, uh, good old animation, running on like the tentacles and stuff. Keep at it. And again, just to think of how far we've come at this point in the series. Stop dragging. Gotta be perfect. Something like that at this point. Precision. That's the word. Must be perfect. Come on. Yeah, look at that. Oh man. Come on, come on, you can make it. Can't let them beat me now. Yay, we did it. The game is over. Win. The 
outcast cheated! An outcast? Win the proving? Never! For she is a brave now. Ah, oh, the catharsis. It. Everyone is all. happy. So long as you put your trophy on the altar. We're gonna celebrate drinks on me tonight, guys. Aloy. These Once two are gonna outcast, become best friends. And now brave. Who is first Everything alive. is great. Ah! Oh no! What is going on? Oh, oh, oh my god. Okay, truly though? This is a lot of children dying. This is super dark, y'all. We can't stay here. That's the way out. But we won't make it under fire. The kids should if they're dead. Keep them busy. I'll find an angle. Aloy deciding really fast that she's fine killing people. Let's go. Now. To be fair, they're killing them too, but like, I don't know, I'd take a couple more seconds than that to be like, mm, am I gonna shoot these people? Am I okay with that? I too do many hope- of them. Ugh, the Nora win. youth at this part is so annoying. I do hope that in the sequel, we get some attention to just Aloy's psyche and like maybe- We can't like, hold them! I don't know, all the, the people that she's oh, killed, no, even though they were all killers themselves, it must have dealt some kind of number on her. Like, Kill I don't know. Kill the defilers! They're too strong! We can't stop them! Oh, that, that animation. Clean. I don't remember that being in Forbidden West. Two, hit, two heavy hits is all it takes. Wow, okay, let's do it. Not bad, not bad. Kill the invaders! Quick, run for the slip wire. Okay, now we got some melees on the bottom Kill and then no witnesses, the archers up no top. Survivors. All right, let's do it. Oh no, there's more. They keep coming. Oh, they do coming hurt though. Here. Oh, oh yeah, let's step back. Now, do those helmets actually protect against headshots? I don't think they do. Which is good for me. I do want to loot these guys, so if I could just take a second before the cutscene starts. Too many of them! Oh, they just have arrows. Okay, never mind. We can't hold them! Oh, mother, help us! Up on the ridge. There's more of them. Kill the defilers! This uh, OST track is called The Spreading Eclipse. And you know what? It's kind of a bop. It's a good combat track. Kill the invaders! They're too strong! Nothing like a good uh, a good bop to accompany the murder of children, I guess. Ugh. Kill them! Rip the Nora. Oh, that's bad. Oh, shoot. Okay, I gotta dodge that next one. We can't win! Okay, one heavy and a light might do it, actually. Oh, I'm low on healing. I'm gonna use a potion. I'm gonna use another potion. Ho oh. ho! Let me loot, let me loot. These guys have some more potions, I think. I'm gonna need them. Okay, that's good. Alright, 
Deathbringer gun. Let's see how this goes. Hopefully it's not too bad. Now, descend while we have a chance. Man, do any of these kids make it out? I think like the two of those might. Oof. like that. No! The red hair dies now. Everyone, forward. All right. This guy's got to go first. Oh, potion. Yep. That's bad. If I can get that gun from him. Unlike in Forbidden West, the Deathbringer guns are actually decent in this game. Come on, get that guy. I missed my melee combos. Don't know why I did that. We're committed, though. Okay. Okay. Oh, he has so much health. Potion. That was a bad idea. He has the skull on his face for a reason. Ugh. Can't take one more of those. Okay, that's one. Okay, that's two. We're good. I need that plant. Okay, yeah. Finish it off, a big hit. Okay, I think that's... Everyone, right? Yeah, loot the enemy leader. Okay. Listen, I'll take the shards when I can get them. Should have brought a cart. Is that Vala? No, it's just one of the kids. Oh, man. Brutal. Uh, where's the... Oh, he's up here. this cutscene. I, uh, I really don't. Oh yeah, she's holding the, the warrior bow. In all the cutscenes in this game, she, uh, carries the warrior bow. Or, war bow, sorry. This 
is an awesome cutscene. I'm just dreading what's about to happen. Yeah, in Forbidden West, when she gets knocked down, Burn it all. see her Can't holding her neck a lot. Wonder can. why. That is a nasty cut. Oh. Also, this is a weird cutscene with the weird thing that comes out of the water. I think it's an alien reference. Oh god. Frost, why'd you why'd you have to go and die, buddy? WTF moment for sure. <laughs> that is weird. Also, Helis's face right here is just so unhinged. Ugh. Yeah, it's probably the first time she's been without it in forever, really. They, they must have found me before I bled out. But why is no one here? The womb of the mountain. Oh boy. Also, I never noticed uh, just how much the scene of her waking up in Tilda's mansion parallels that. I mean, she shoots awake and the first thing she says is Rost or, or Beta and then Varro. Ugh. Okay, this is a little bit of a maze, I won't lie. Am I close? Good. But where's my focus? It's here, okay. Wait. A am I inside the sacred mountain? Only matriarchs are allowed inside. Surprise, you're a matri- I'm kidding. I, I don't see my bow here. Or that damaged focus, the one I took off that killer. Where are they? Uh, this look familiar, anyone? <laughs> Loading screen. Okay, I think I missed a room back here, so let me just double check. This is, that's where we woke up. I should keep looking. Nah, it's just a dead end. Okay. 
gosh, this is just Zero Dawn has one of my favorite openings to a game. Cause I'm just, I'm just remembering what was going through my mind at this point. I was so confused, but I've never been so gripped by a plot hook at this point. Like we have the killers, um, them saying you need to be near your mother and just whatever, whatever's going on with the world. I, I just, it's such a good start to a game. And then you get out of here and the corruptors introduced and you, it's a whole new layer of things like, okay, so this one type of machine that looks visually distinct is taking control of other machines and you get the override and some kind of signal. And then from there, it's a pretty long haul to get to Meridian, but man, is this not just like one of the best starting chunks to a game I've ever played? Anyways. Looks like the ruins <laughs> I fell into when I was young. Oh, this is the uh the power cell, right? The Nora didn't build this place. The old ones did. But why? Yeah, there we go. Some kind of power cell. I wonder what it's for. Now, in Ultra Heart, I'm not actually the biggest fan of the Shield Weaver. I find, uh, on average, just having good resistances on your outfit is better than having the shield up and then immediately losing it. Because in Ultra Hard, pretty much any machine will just knock it down in one hit. There, with the rest of my things. And at that point, you're completely vulnerable. So that's just my opinion, though. Hmm. <laughs> and then. You see Sobek here, and you're just like, what is going on? It's it's awesome. I know a lot of people think that Forbidden West didn't have as good of a story. I think it had an incredible story. It's just Zero Dawn sets a crazy bar. I mean. and proceed at once to the mission point. Avoid all contact with Nora's savages, but if you are seen, kill every witness. Target imaging attached. Do not fail. And uh, those coordinates that you see point to Cheyenne Mountain? Is that correct? Feel free to correct me in the comments. Who says I'm like other Nora? Focus. How is that possible? Then make it quick. I'm heading in. Hold for identity scan. You need to stop listening to Ted and start listening to me. Oh room? boy. It's complicated. Why try to kill me just because I look like you? Aloy, you are awake. You brought me here? Quickly, you must follow. To where? To the place where you were born. What? It's not a goddess, it's a door. I love that line. Inside the mountain. It is easier if I show you. Oh, is her spear not a... Uh... Uh-oh, that's a, that's a bug. Someone, uh, someone should look into that. Yo. <laughs> is, oh, okay. I was gonna say, is this what happens when you eat uh, too many medicinal berries? You just, uh, just start shooting your invisible bow there. Aloy, are you okay? Why did you die here? It seemed you were dying. And to die near one's mother is sacred. Lanthra fought it, of course, but Jezza sided with me. Is I... my mother here? Am I going to meet her? It's complicated. Please, just follow me. I was say, ideally, you should never have to die near your mother, but... Unless they mean... At, at her resting place, maybe. But, yeah, you know, the world happens. Does my mother look like me, but with short hair? I don't see how that could be. You were not born of a woman, Aloy. 
the mountain is your mother. That's not how babies work, Tusa. What are you talking about? Come. And again, just like, again, on a more serious note, like plot hook after plot hook, it's incredible. What is this place? The Great Chamber, where all mother slew the metal devil and gave birth to you. Both technically true, Aloy, right? The Proving Massacre was just the first of many disasters. The war party we sent after the killers was ambushed and slaughtered. But what does that have to do with where I was born? My hope is everything. This is where we found you. We heard your cries, came to look, and there you were. Just... just lying there? Yes. You mean I came from behind the door? Always, that is what I have believed. That you came from the womb of the mountain. A gift from all mother herself. But others... Lansra. Like Lansra, feared that a darker power put you here. Not a gift, but a curse. But... This isn't a goddess. Aloy! It's a door. <laughs> with people behind it. My mother? <gasps> oh! Now, does that only happen because she has the focus on? Hold for identity scan. It must Daughter be, right? Just like the woman I saw. Error. Alpha registry corrupted. Identity cannot be confirmed. Entry denied. No. No. Yeah, I mean, she just lost everything, so that one little nugget of hope also being taken away is pretty Aloy, brutal. All Mother spoke to you as if she knew you. Were you not listening? It didn't recognize me. Because of corruption, the goddess's own words. Surely, if you heal this corruption, she will see you clearly. True. I mean, she's not wrong. How would I do that? You said you've had visions of a woman with short hair. The killers came for me because I look like her. But their power is overwhelming. Is there no other trail to follow? Owen. He was one of the outsiders the night before the proving. The killer saw me through his eyes. He lives in Meridian. So you will have to leave the sacred land. I've been an outcast all my life. Why not an exile too? Shh. There is another way. Come, and we will make it so. It's a good thing Nora Laws have this exact clause for this moment. What happened? After the massacre at the Proving, a great war party was sent after the killers. Less than half survived. Meta Alloy. <gasps> Meta. Aloy? Also, um, I love the implication that... How was the oh, wait, one sec. The killers do not fight alone. Somehow they have a power over the machines, corrupting them, driving them mad. So the killers got away? Yes. And now the only plan my sister matriarchs can agree to is to sing the hymn of atonement and beg for all mother's mercy. As though she would not want us to help ourselves. Then, what's your plan? This. This was my plan, to show you where you were born and loose you to follow the destiny all mother intended for you. The Again, other high matriarchs are waiting for us. Let me do the talk. I just love that this is all rooted in such truth. Like that's literally what Gaia's plan was. 
I'm just gonna make Aloy and hope she figures it out. <laughs> like, so what I was gonna say is I love the implication that um, this Horus found Eleuthia and was just about to breach, uh, breach the bunker. And then at that moment, Minerva shut it down. That's pretty cool. It is done? Yes. I showed her. Sisters, the goddess spoke to Aloy, told her to heal the corruption. Ha! But how is she to do that? She will have to journey beyond our sacred land. A seeker? If the goddess spoke, it must be so. You would name this thing a seeker? Sister! For once, Lanzra, join with us. This will be your sin, not mine. Send her seeking, and may she never be seen again. This is why you don't appoint roles of leadership based on children spawning children. <laughs> I mean, Aloy, by the holy grace of the one goddess, we hereby anoint you a seeker of the Nora tribe. No barrier can now stay you from your sacred task. May all mother protect you and sustain you. Stay true. Thank you. I will make ready for the hymn. Our hopes lie with you. Good for you, Jezza. Thank you for being somewhat kind. Ah, more Seriously, than kind. What's a seeker? You are. And here is your mark. In times of great need, the High Matriarchs may anoint a seeker. A worthy brave sent forth to accomplish a great purpose. No matter where that purpose might take her. Even beyond the borders of the sacred land? Yes. And with the right to return when you are done. Or as the need arises. How convenient. I was going to say, I wonder if anyone else has been made a seeker, at least recently. I, I can't remember, so. Have there been other seekers? There have, but they are rare. And most who set out are never heard from I again. I mean, there's Rost, but. Rost a seeker? Yeah. No, not a seeker. Not quite. What are you not telling me? This is not the time, Aloy. Perhaps another day. So many have suffered. Is there anything I can do to help? What is most important is for you to fulfill the purpose all mother has intended for you. I don't know what that means any more than you do. Then you must find out. If, however, you sense that part of your purpose is to help the tribe, by all means do so. Side quest. I have no <laughs> doubt you will find people in need throughout the embrace. What was done with Rost's body? I'm afraid there was very little left to recover. Mm. But what there was, Ugh. we buried at the place where he raised you. With flowers on the grave. Thank you. Yeah, we'll have to go back up there. You said the Nora sent a war party after the killers. Yes. But it was ambushed and overrun. Very few escaped alive. And most that did were wounded. Do you know where the killers went? No. But you could ask Varl. Varl! One of the braves guarding the gates of the embrace. He survived the ambush. He would know more. My boy. So I can go anywhere at all. No restrictions. Even to forbidden places. Like the tainted lands beyond all mother's sight. Or the ruins of the metal world. I see. Why are the ruins of the metal world forbidden? They are blighted places, Aloy. Dark and wicked. Like the children of metal who built them. When they rebelled and tried to murder all mother, her wrath leveled their cities, but could not cleanse their sin. Their ancient spite haunts those ruins, ready to ensnare anyone foolish enough to enter them. But I've been in a ruin. It looked a lot like the inside of all mother. <laughs> That cannot be so. Well... It is. Then, this is something beyond my understanding. 
I will trust you to reveal the truth. Man, I forgot how much um, machine cable plays into the Nora design. I really enjoy it. It's a lot of just leather worked around the cable to provide some kind of like structure. Even Aloy has it around her uh, her neck. Why are the Oops. ruins of the? They are when they. There, but that cannot. It is. <sighs> then. Why are the lands beyond Nora territory called tainted? Is it not obvious? Our land is sacred. We live in sight of the one goddess, all mother, source of all that lives. True. Beyond her sight lies a vast fallen land, spiritually tainted. That is why it is against tribal law to leave. But the seeker blessing will protect you. I should be on my way. From here, you must go to the gates of the embrace. Speak to Varl, and he will point the way to Meridian. If any Nora tries to stand in your way, Aloy, make sure they know you are a seeker. Oh, I will. <laughs> Thank you, Tirsa, for all you've done. May all mother bless you and watch over you. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe... We will soon begin. The mark of the seeker is what she has on her little pouch right there, right? Forgiveness for the sins that brought such misery on the tribe. Like it might not be there before you get the mark. I can't remember. Okay, who's ready for the best combat track in the game? I am. It's been years, so I'm excited. Saved many lives. The tribe is lucky to have it. Ah, maybe you should have shunned her for 18 years. Oh, speaking of, but not related at all. Four skill points. Okay. So we could continue to try and get Tinker. Speeds up healing. I don't need speed as much. So I have been enjoying the melee quite a bit, but... And okay, so in any other difficulty other than Ultra Hard, Knockdown is ridiculous. Like it shows in the video, like... With at least, or at most three hits, you'll get a knockdown on a, like any machine other than maybe like a Thunderjaw. Ultra hard though, I remember it like almost never coming into play, so I think I'm going to skip it for now. Ammo Crafter, ooh, yeah. Lots of good ones, isn't there? Strike from above, I still want. Uh, we could start going for double shot, which is the most broken thing ever. You know what, just because we really need to focus on getting shards, I'm gonna get Ammo Crafter. Mm. Yeah, why not? You know, we'll get to the hunting ground, we'll get to the tall neck, we'll get skill points from those at some point, so. Got a decent amount of health. What's, is this a uh, mother's, mother's watch? Who's ready for mother's watch to get wrecked? I am. Um... Get your fire ready. Ignore her. Continue the report. There are rumors of a demon loose in the embrace. A, a thing of dark metal that corrupts every machine it touches. Where did it come from? They say it broke through the gates of the embrace. Who is they? Varl and his followers, they tried to stop it, but the demon was too fast, too powerful. Varl's a fool to defend that gate. It is here at Mother's Watch that we will make our stand. So far, eight groups have arrived from Mother's Heart to join the Hymn of Atonement, and more are on the way. Good. All true Nora will lift their voices in song. How dare he diss Varl like here. that? I don't care. <laughs> I forgot that that happens. She's still here. I need the gate opened. <laughs> Since when has any outcast's need been my concern? Since I was anointed a seeker. Now open the gate. You, a seeker? Have Tissa and Jezza gone insane? Bad enough that they let you run in the proving. But to nurse you back to health inside the sacred mountain? <sighs> no wonder a curse is upon us and children lie dead under cairns of stone. Mmm, mmm, I'm feeling the fist. And where were you when those children were being slaughtered? Or the war party ambushed? 
Guarding your little gate here? I am the Nora War Chief, and this gate is Mother's Watch. I have been anointed a seeker by the High Matriarchs, so do as I say and open the gate, or we will settle this in blood. Damn. The sooner you're gone from here, the better. I would be so okay with that, actually. What was that? Oh, this is a cool cutscene. Again, one of those things that just really gets you interested in the story and just completely throws you for a loop. And what an entrance. It's too powerful. My PC can't handle it. By the goddess, what's it doing to them? They're taking control. Brace yourself! Okay. I remember that sneer for some reason. It's a burn in my memory. You know the great thing about Zero Dawn? Fire, believe it or not, is irrelevant. I love it. I think fire coils not only make severity worse, but they make the fire damage, like the DPS over time, better, if I remember correctly. So, uh, yeah. And of course, fire What's against corrupted machines. It's driven them mad. Uh, trying to scan here. Oh right, corruption poison. Oh, that hurt. That hurt. Oh yeah, we are weak. I forgot about that. Just trying to deal with these striders. Nope. They'll deal with me instead. Okay, let's let's try that again, shall we? Ray! Ready yourselves! Ray will fight a curse! A demon! Is that is that Tab? Tab, get out of here! What are you doing? Gotta get in position. Oh yeah, yeah, he comes and talks to us afterwards. Attack! Watch the Striders! It's driven them mad! Ah, I got stuck on a building. Okay, the fire killed that thing, so let's just set them all on fire. It's easier than hitting the blaze. Oh shoot, let's get the potion out. Okay. That was a lot of them. Motion again, let's go. Ah. The corruption's hurting me too, I'm already poisoned. Okay, this is really bad. Potion? No. What's that? Death number four? Yeah. I knew this fight was gonna be a bit tricky. Okay, so we know the fire will take out Strider and won't be long. Gotta get in position. Here it comes. Strider! Attack! Bad shots all around. It's driven them mad. The range on this thing sucks. Okay. Oh god. You know what I should get? I should get the uh, skill that gives you time slowdown when you jump. Hunter reflexes.
Okay, let's get that weak spot out. Man, it takes a lot of fire for these guys. Almost like they're engineered for war. Come on. There we go. That should expose it. Okay. Potion. Oh, it actually, like, makes it... Staggered. Oh, 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 shit. Okay, get out of the way, get out of the way. I'm so dead, I'm so dead. Potion, thank you. Oh, God. No, run, 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 run. I need a smoke bomb so bad. Oh, it's still exposed. Okay. I gotta deal with that grenade launcher. It's almost dead. It's down. The killers at the proving. Wait, did it? No, we didn't see a machine like that take control of all those striders. There wasn't a corruptor with the killers, was there? How does it possess other machines? What's its secret? It's just really good at negotiation tactics. I need to know how that machine took possession of those striders. Yes, but I need shards, Aloy. I guess I could loot afterwards. It is done. Maybe my focus can tell me how that machine controlled the other ones. Yeah, or maybe your focus could show you where all the Ridgewood is. All right. How'd you do it? Show me. <laughs> you made them obey you. But how? This. You did it with this. It's connecting to my focus. Then I could use this. It's worth a shot. It's funny. Of loops of wire. Before she attaches that, she holds the spear hold. almost like a sword. I just need to test it. She's holding it right at the pommel at the bottom. But hey, look, now it's more like an actual spear. How did you do that? Tev? What are you doing here? You're a stitcher, not a brave. I came to help defend Mother's Watch. But I never imagined I'd see anything like this. You killed that demon. Pulled its guts from the carcass. The way it controls other machines. I think I figured it out. But I need to test it on a machine. Uh, plenty of striders along the path to the gates of the embrace, I guess. Exactly. And the gates are where I'll be headed anyway. I need to speak to Varl. I always knew you were different, Aloy, but... But... What? <laughs> I think you're a blessing from all mother. No matter what rest says. <sighs> Thank you, Teb. But I have to go now. I know you do. And my thoughts go with you. All right, the room of the mountain is done. Now it's city of the sun. I don't care if you have to bandage it together. Get it done. Oh, right. Yeah, that makes sense. Psy overrides. Tall neck. Hey. Or a, no a secret the gates, right, and then it's City of the Sun. Gotta actually leave the uh, sacred land before you can get to Sundom. Okay, hunter reflexes. Let's see. Oh, it's just one skill point? That's so good. Uh, this is the most useless perk ever, but uh, silent drop, I wouldn't mind silent running. Ooh, that's pretty far down there. Yeah, I'm going to prioritize other stuff first. Riddle hit plus, okay, I'll come back to it. Okay, I know this episode's been going a little long, but let's get to the gate and then get going. There is a very good chance. Test this override device. What am I at for shards? 
I still don't even have enough for a sharp shot bow. So speaking of, there's a very good chance I'm just going to do some grinding off camera just so that we can actually start to afford some of these weapons. It's your sister, Olara. You know what, Aloy? It sounds like she's having uh, a bit of a crisis, but you know what? The world itself is in crisis and we need to focus on that instead. Now I'll come back and do her side quest at some point. I can't, uh, I can't stream from where I am right now just because the internet connection, but once I get back, probably do some grinding and some side quests over stream just because it's a bit, uh, it's less important versus the main story. But I still want to get to it. Uh, yes, Wild Ember, or Hintergold. But yeah, so I might do some grinding off camera just to get some shards so we can get... Uh, I'm going to prioritize a sharp shot bow and probably the frost sling. Striders. I can test the override device now. Should go in quiet. Didn't go through all of this to wind up trampled by a frightened herd. Okay, here it goes. Come on, come on. Nice and quiet. I see that loot. It worked. It's not hostile. Seems almost tame. There we go. All right. That a boy. Yeah. 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 Ride. <laughs> this strider is fast. <laughs> this beats walking. Oh yeah, I do remember the first time I did this. I was just like, no way. I should try overriding other kinds of machines. Probably can't ride them all, but I might find a use for them. Yeah, if, if you follow my videos for Forbidden West, you'll know I don't override a ton, but in Ultra Hard, I'm going to have to keep that in mind because that might save my butt. And the door is just wide enough for us to see through. Yourselves. Bring it closer! Closer! Is it love at first sight? Varl, I take it? It could be. Am I seeing things? Or were you riding that strider when you came through the gate? Uh, I was. It's hard to explain. Does he say that I if you don't so. bring a strider? Strange times we live in. We who've survived. I recognize you, of course. Aloy, the outcast who won the proving. I'm glad to see you survived your wounds. High Matriarch Tirsa said you might know the way to Meridian. The capital of the Karja Sundom? You seek exile? No. A traitor named Olin. The Matriarchs made me a seeker so I could go after him. Huh. Well, then you should head north to Mother's Crown. If you make it, talk to Morea. She'll point the way. If I make it? <laughs> the trail is dangerous. Ever since the War Party Massacre, our lands go unpatrolled and our borders unguarded. We have no war chief to lead us. Isn't that Resh's job? Ugh. Only because Sona went missing. I'd go after her myself, but she ordered me to hold this gate with my life. And so I have. It is moderately funny that he calls her Sona. It's a very Sona thing to do to say, call me Sona, not mom. You said the trail is dangerous. What sorts of dangers? <laughs> Almost too many to name. The killers are still out there, and somehow they've corrupted the machines, spreading madness. Yes, I've seen it myself. Bandits, too. Cutthroats who snuck across the border to prey on us. The word is, there's a camp in the metal ruins upriver. And our favorite like Karja. <laughs> you said I won the proving. How did you know that? And I spoke to survivors. They said you fought bravely, as did Bast and my sister. Your mm. sister was Bala? I'm, I'm very sorry. I, I liked her. I think we might have even become friends if we'd had a chance. Thank you. She died saving others. There is no better death. Oh my god.
I wonder if they had any idea at that point when they wrote that line. Oh, that really hits me in the feels. <laughs> Man. I'm still mad that they felt the need to kill him off. Okay. You said the war party was massacred. How? When word came wow. of the attack on the Proving, War Chief Sona assembled a war party to give chase. But in their haste to get vengeance, some braves broke rank and raced ahead, straight into a trap. A pack of crazed machines, seething with corruption, fell upon the braves and savaged them. War Chief Sona led a countercharge and destroyed the machines, but by then the killers were gone, and our losses were extreme. You said War Chief Sona is missing? Even when the war party was massacred, she wouldn't give up the chase. She called for volunteers and went after the killers. You didn't volunteer? Of course I did, but Sona denied me that. I wonder why. She wanted me to see the wounded back to the embrace. And to guard this gate, to guard the embrace with my life. That was days ago, and since then there's been no word from her. So there's no way to know if she's alive or dead. If anyone could survive out there, it would be her. Sona's prowess is legend. An unbending spear to measure ourselves against. Sounds like she sets a high standard. Oh, you have no Yeah, idea. there you go. She's my mother. I love how Aloy has no follow-up on that. She's like, oh, okay, yeah, I'll leave your family dynamics to you. I should be on my way. Aloy, before you make the journey to Mother's Crown and beyond, is there any chance you could search for Sona? The tribe needs her leadership. Now, I'd go after her myself if she hadn't commanded me to hold this gate at all costs. Where was she last seen? The war party massacre site. A wooded hollow across from Devil's Thirst on this side of the river. You might be able to pick up her trail there. Now, she went after the killers who attacked the Proving, who killed those we love, who tried to kill you. And I, I get it, Varl. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. All right, to call your mount, select. Yep, okay. Oh, right, we don't actually have mounted pickup yet because that's not a thing. Oh, I'm gonna equip that like immediately. Let's see. Does this even do? Yeah, hunter arrows do some amount of tear. It's nothing crazy though. I am gonna do the 14. Uh, no, the damage is probably better actually. What about my uh, my outfit though? Let me see. Oh, and do we have the pre-order outfits yet? No. What the? What the heck? I opened the treasure boxes. I'm gonna have to. Google that one, maybe. Special items? No. Yeah, if you know about that, let me know in the comments, please. Um, so I opened the treasure boxes for the pre-order outfits that I bought, but I don't see them, so I'll figure it out. It's fine. But uh, crafting outfits. Eh, better than nothing, I guess. All right. Well, I think we're going to leave Maybe it there for now. Protect. May the goddess protect indeed. We've just gotten out of the embrace. The Snow haze. White as bone. <laughs> that thought got dark. I mean, yeah, after what she just witnessed. Um The open world has become open to us to explore now. Or at least half of it. All of it in the embrace. The world just got bigger. But also more dangerous. Yep, and uh can't wait to see where it leads. Just kidding. I know exactly where it leads, but you know, it'll be fun. <laughs> but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, like I said earlier, the opening to this game is just, I think it's so well done. It, it's just the perfect way to grip you into the story and it just does not let you go from there. So uh, next time we get back, hopefully I'll have grinded some shards a little bit so I can get us a sharp shot bow or frostling or something like that. And uh, we'll head on north to Mother's Crown and then eventually to Day Tower. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you then.